For some black women, dating outside of your race can offer a fresh start and a new exciting perspective and opportunity. And for some black women, the idea of dating outside of your race can seem really daunting and due to a lack of attraction, due to perceived incompatibility, and due to the tumultuous history between black and white people, for some black women, the idea of dating outside of your race can just seem really undesirable. That is, unless a white man is willing and able to offer his black female partner these three things. Many black women have had to deal with the double whammy of racism and sexism throughout their lives. And despite their adult circumstances, those wounds from childhood and adolescence can carry with them throughout the course of their lives. Many black women are accused or deemed as a strong black woman, mostly because we have built up walls around ourselves as a defense mechanism for the outside world that in a lot of cases just feels like, just seems like it does not want us to win. It does not want us to be happy, to be healthy, and to be thriving. Therefore, it is so invaluable and so important that a white man looking to date a black woman is willing and able to provide his partner emotional protection and emotional affection. And emotional protection can express itself in a variety of ways, but I think one of the most profound and most significant ways is allowing your woman to express her thoughts and feelings without judgment, without the fear of judgment, and listening to her with an open heart instead of with a closed mind. And this also means listening to her to understand and not just listening to her to respond, to rationalize, or to dismiss. And in my opinion, emotional affection looks like expressing gratitude towards your partner when she opens up to you, when she shares her inner world with you, and when she lets her guard down to build a stronger connection with you, making sure that you express gratitude for her doing that and for her allowing you in to a space that I'm sure makes her feel very vulnerable and exposed. So you want to make sure that you are being emotionally affectionate as well as emotionally protecting. The second trait that a black woman needs from her white male partner is to feel not only a mutual sense of physical attraction, but also to receive physical confirmation. Again, due to the intersectionality of race and gender, many black women have been made to feel, have been conditioned to believe that we are physically speaking less desirable than women with more Eurocentric features in comparison to African Afrocentric features. Therefore, it's so important to have a partner who not only finds us physically attractive for our Afrocentric features, but also a partner who does not shy away from vocalizing his attraction to our features. It's so, so important to just make sure that you are telling your female partner outright how beautiful you think she is, how beautiful her hair is, how beautiful her complexion is, how beautiful her body is. You know, all women, really all people, want to be seen as desirable. I think that is inherent to all human beings. But all I'm saying is for black women in this Western world that has conditioned us to believe that we are not good enough 
in the bodies that we inhabit, I think, you know, if you could just add a, like, a pinch more of appreciation and express just like a hint more of gratitude for our physical appearance, that can be so invaluable and that can really go such a long way in a relationship between a black woman and a white man. And the third and final trait that a black woman needs in her white male partner is a real man, not an alpha male or a beta male, but a real good solid man. A consistent man who shows up for her with the same love, affection, and attention when things are bad just as when things are good. A man who is willing, within reason of course, to tackle any issues that come your way and who view problems from the vantage point that it is the problem that needs to be solved and you are not the problem that needs to be solved or changed or altered or worse cast aside. A man who is shamelessly apologetic in his love for his woman and a man who not only recognizes the beauty of his woman's complexion but also who recognizes the baggage that can come with her complexion and who is willing and able to help her lighten the load. And it is so important to find a man who doesn't view her as important and valuable and desirable despite her race, her ethnicity, her culture, her background, her values, but who finds her to be beautiful and worthy because of her race, her ethnicity, her culture, her background, and her values. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching tonight's video. I hope that you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think that black women need to have a healthy, fulfilling interracial relationship? And do you think that there are things that black women need from a potential white male partner that may be different than a partner of the same race. I would love to know what you think. And until next time, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.